Hi guys, and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out the latest analysis like this. And for today, we are going to talk about this specific topic, which is the Ethereum logarithmic growth curve, an update on this data indicator that we monitor. Natin. And on top of that, we are also going to give you a quick Bitcoin update. So if you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. So with that being said, let's now dive into this video and Diba? Previously, Ethereum has been a very good performing coin, one we have been following nga for the past few years. Nga. It's actually one of my favorite coins after Bitcoin because of course, as you can see, there's a potential growth natin dito. At the same time, guaranteed that na there na siya ng malaking returns in the past. At the same time, it's actually one of the biggest altcoin in the whole crypto market. So that is why I have been following this. It's because of that market cap nga. and on top of that, it's one of the biggest altcoins in the crypto market. So, as you can see, for the past year na nga, we have been using this logarithmic growth curve ni Ethereum. And para sa mga hindi nakaalam, itong logarithmic growth curve is a data model which is using the historical Ethereum data. Tapos pinaplot niya dyan yung ating potential support and resistances, the potential market cycle top, potential market cycle bottom, as well as the halfway point using the data model. And as you can see, following this data model, diba, sa mga previous video natin, ito yung ating ginawang analysis sa mga previous video. Pinakita natin na yung ating upper or yung ating market cycle top is actually represented by this red area which is this upper regression band which is based from the historical data. Then yung ating lower regression band would indicate yung ating market cycle bottom. And that's based also from the historical market cycle data. And looking at this data alone, we can actually infer na we did not actually enter the, uh, the market cycle top. We just touched it but we did not enter and then same goes sa ating mga previous ano sa previous analysis sa sa below area we are yet to enter the market cycle bottom but as you can see we are at a very good buying pace already so looking at this ethereum price action na nga for the past few years itong green area na would actually represent that we are at a very good buying opportunity for the long term and that is where ethereum is right now wherein we are at this green area right now but if we enter this violet area, that would indicate that that's a very, crit very critical area na nga. And that's a very good or actually one of the, or actually the best buying opportunity. Not one of the best, but the best talaga. If ever na mag-enter tayo dyan, kasi that is a once in a lifetime. In a once in a lifetime, siguro once every four years the opportunity na pwede natin makita if nag-enter siya sa violet area na yan. Regardless, ang ginagawa ko pa rin dito is dollar cost average in buying. So, nag average buy ako within those specific area. And ever since na nag-drop tayo below this yellow area, below the 2,600 US dollars, I've been buying Ethereum ever since. And as you can see, Ethereum is actually pretty much looking well na nga right now. If you're going to compare this with with Bitcoin, kay Bitcoin kasi we have now gone even lower than the previous low. As compared dito kay Ethereum, Ethereum is just matching the previous low lang dito sa ating Ethereum price action. So, it's actually showing us na Ethereum is actually performing better than Bitcoin for the time being. But ito yung kagadaan nito, the reason why we are seeing this go down is because yun nga, sa mga previous video natin, binabanggit natin na it's because of the traditional market na naghatak sa buong crypto market pababa. And ito yung kagadaan dito, the moment na let's see mag-break nitong S&P 500, itong broadening falling wedge na pinakita natin sa ating previous video, if nagkaroon na tayo ng breakout dyan, then of course, this will definitely pull the Ethereum price action then to the upside. So, kasabay niyan dyan. But the question is, how much are we going to go up? And looking at this data alone, ang pwede natin ma-infer na potential halfway point pa lang for the time being or yung ating next milestone. If ever, let's see, mabreak natin yung itong broadening falling wedge. Then, ating potential target would be around the 3,240 US dollars for the time being. But yung ating potential market cycle top is actually ranging between the 9,000 or actually 10,000 up until the 15,000 US dollars for the time being. So, yun yung ating nakikita natin, potential market cycle top. And then, yung ating next milestone is the between the 3,200 US dollar area up until the 5,000 US dollar area. So, where is Ethereum right now heading as of the time being, as of December 2022? So, looking at this, Ethereum is actually playing within this lower regression band, itong green area na yan. And yun nga, it's actually testing this support area once again. And if ever na ma-break natin yan, then our next potential support would actually play within the 1,000 US dollar area na nga or roughly around the 997 US dollars or 9, 975 US dollars around that area if ma-break natin itong support area na yan. And 
yeah, that is a buy indicator dito. And potentially, actually, within this area na nga, di ba, sinasabi ko kanina na, it's already a good buy na nga. But best buy talaga if mag-enter tayo dito sa, sa violet area na yan. But nonetheless, hindi naman mag-matter yan sa atin as long as we are following a proper DCA strategy. So make sure, also make sure to check our tutorial video din yung Gabs Crypto 101. You can also find that in the, in the playlist down below. Kung paano ba bumili ng crypto, step-by-step -step tutorial. And you can also find that video then on how to trade that with Bybit. So make sure to check out that Crypto 101 tutorial playlist. It's available in the description down below. And yeah, so yun na nga. Right now, we are still playing within the support area. But if ever na mabreak natin yan, then we are more likely going to go down up until the 170 US dollars or 1,000 US dollars area. So right now, na hindi natin siya mabreak, we are still going to monitor this. But if nabreak natin siya, then that is our next target. And yeah, right now that is what we are currently monitoring dito with the Ethereum price action. That is the update for the December. And looking at the RSI, looking at the RSI, wala tayong clear trend of bullish. Wala tayong bullish trend of indicator for the time being dito, dito with the Ethereum price action. So for the time being na hope for a trend of result, the only thing that we can only hope for dito for a trend of result is the S&P 500 broadening falling wedge. And for this, na magplay out yung Bitcoin analysis na magkaroon ng yung potential na nagko-form na bullish divergence within the weekly time frame kay Bitcoin that is also the next thing na pwede makahatak din kay Ethereum but yeah for right now Ethereum is at a good buying zone and wala pa tayo sa best opportunity but it's actually one of the best time to buy it's not actually the optimal yun, yun pala yung tamang term iba yung optimal sa pinakang good talaga kasi good would actually indicate na okay naman siya pwede ka bumili ngayon and highly suggested na bumili ngayon if let's say following yung itong green area nyan. But yung pinaka-optimal, yung like the best of the best talaga would be this violet area. So right now that is what we are currently monitoring with Ethereum. Now let's give you a quick update with Bitcoin. Kasi diba sa ating previous update with Bitcoin, wala, nag, nag -de decline si Bitcoin dito. But as you can see, wala tayong bullish divergence. Kasi even though that the price is declining, RSI is not increasing. So that is not a bullish trend reversal sign. In this case, di ako nag-open ng kahit anong position kasi di ba sabi ko sa inyo, I'm just waiting out for the next indicators to form. And as you can see, we are just actually moving sideways dito with Ethereum or actually with Bitcoin. So not much to talk about dito but siguro the best thing na pwede mo i-monitor dito is this. Let's try to plot this. Ito. If let's say, let's try to plot a support line and then a resistance line. You could somehow say na we are starting to form a rising wedge. So this could be potential rising wedge forming dito with the Bitcoin price action. So if in this case, if this is a rising wedge, then this could be a bearish pattern back to the support area around the $16,448. But yeah, right now, this is what we are going to monitor next if we are going to form this rising wedge dito with the Bitcoin price action. But siguro, ang pwede mo tingnan dito is this resistance around that area. Siguro some short-term trades if let's say ma-break natin itong support area around the or actually, itong resistance area around the 16,900. If mabreak natin yan, then we can actually open a long position dito up until this resistance area around the 17,000 US dollars. So, from 16,900 up until the 17,000, that could be a very good swing trade bull opportunity if mabreak natin itong resistance. But yeah, right now, hindi pa natin siya nakikita magbreak. So, for the time being, we're just going to monitor this potential pattern, which is the rising wedge, as well as this resistance within the Bitcoin price action in the early time frame. And take note, I'll be opening this next trade sa ating Bybit Copy Trade account. You can actually find this guys in the description down below. Yung aking Copy Trade account. And if wala pa account with Bybit, make sure to use my sign up link. It's also available in the description down below. And then guys, it's the holidays. And yun muna update natin for the time being. Merry Christmas sa inyo and happy holidays. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.